In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Wacom One tablet. So we're going to do a unboxing. I'm going to show you how to set up the software drivers and then how to set up a two screen desktop. Inside your packaging, you're going to find a brown box that contains the tablet. The tablet is inside a black cloth protective sleeve. Uh, I think it's the same stuff that they use for uh, weed blocking in the garden. Beneath the tablet, you'll find the cables, the power supply, and the stylus that you'll use to write on the tablet. Uh, unfortunately, the stylus is also in a piece of protective cloth, which is a pain in the neck to get out. So they hide the adapter for the power supply to plug into US outlets. It's underneath the cardboard, so you have to dig for it a little bit, but it's in there. Once you find the adapter for the US plug, slide it into the power supply and click it into place. Now take the USB cable that has the square box end and plug it into your power supply. After you do this, you can plug it into the wall. The next cable you're going to attach is to the top of the tablet. It can only go in one direction where the cable goes off to the left. I'm showing the side of my laptop to show you where the last two plugs will go. If you don't have an extra HDMI port, you won't be able to use the tablet. So we're going to be using an HDMI port and a USB port to plug into your computer. Now we're going to power up the Wacom tablet. And the good news is you should see a duplicate of your current desktop. Your mouse will work on both screens, but unfortunately the stylus will not work yet. We need to install the drivers in order to get the stylus, the little pen, to work. Now we're going to download the drivers from the Wacom website. To get there, you're going to type in wacom.com slash start slash Wacom1. It's right there on the screen. This is the page that should load when you type in that URL. Uh, scroll down the page until you get to step two, where you can choose a Windows or a Mac uh, driver for your system. After you select which driver you want, follow the on-screen instructions for the installation process. It's going to ask you to register the product. You don't have to do this, and I didn't. Uh, the final thing you'll need to do is to restart your computer. So after your computer restarts, uh, the tablet should work with the stylus. I've loaded up a Microsoft OneNote, and I use this quite a bit with students. Um, there's a Draw tab at the top of the screen that you can use. Um, and you can, it's just like a whiteboard. Uh, the nice thing about it is you can export your um, pages to PDF, which you can then email to your students. Um, the nice thing about OneNote, it comes free on all Windows and Mac computers. It's, you already have it loaded on your uh, machine. So the last part of this video is going to be how to set up your monitors so you have two separate screens. On a blank part of your desktop, right click the screen to get this dialog box. You're going to select the second from the bottom, which is display settings. After you select display settings, this dialog box should appear. 
scroll down within this dialog box until you get to multiple displays. From there, you're going to select the second one on the list, which is extend these displays. After this, you should be good to go and your computer will now have two separate displays where you can drag your applications from one screen to another and basically doubling the size of your desktop. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, uh, shoot me off an email and that's it. Thanks.